Hi everyone, today we are at the USS Lexington Museum at Corpus Christi, Texas. This ship was also nicknamed as the Blue Ghost. From the flight deck to the hangar deck, there's plenty more to explore. This ship was the oldest working carrier in the United States Navy. The flight deck is equal to more than two acres. You could play three football games or 14 basketball games at the same time. This carrier carries enough gasoline to drive your car around the world 132 times. The ship carries enough fuel to sail non-stop for 30,000 miles. The USS Lexington has steamed 209,000 miles, which is equivalent to eight times around the world. Over eight million people have visited this museum since it opened as a museum in 1992. There are so many exhibits waiting for us. Let's go! Here there is a small version of the ship. The USS Lexington was actually and originally named the USS Cabot. We are actually in the second USS Lexington, named USS Lexington CV-16, because the first one sunk, named USS Lexington CV-2. Before the ship was decommissioned, the crew daily consumed 660 pounds of meat, 164 gallons of milk, and 97 dozen eggs. That is a lot of food consumed. They have even a library that has over 40,000 books. I forgot to mention that the first USS Lexington sank 8th of May, 1942. In World War II, 12 aircraft carriers sunk, and one of them was the first USS Lexington. This American aircraft carrier was sunk during the Battle of the Coral Sea. More than 200 sailors were killed. The wreckage was discovered on March 5, 2018. Along with that wreckage, there were 11 warplanes, which was in good condition. The person's name who found that wreckage was Paul Allen. But how did this majestic USS Lexington sink? Well, 80 years ago, the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor in Hawaii. The Japanese was strong and the fight was immense. Take a look inside. There are so many Cold War plane gadgets. There are lots of buttons and levers. I wanted to press them all. Japan decided to attack Pearl Harbor in Hawaii, hoping that the USA would negotiate peace. When World War II was introduced, so many attacks, operations, and battles happened, like the Battle of Berlin, the Battle of the Bulge, an attack on the Pearl Harbor. About 3,000 members were in this ship during World War II. That's a lot of people. The length of the flight deck is 910 feet. The height of the flight deck, the waterline to flight deck, is 52 feet. Did you know the USS Lexington can produce enough power to supply a city? This ship has more sleeping space than the largest hotel in the world. There was this task or operation known as the Landing Force 16, which is basically moving the ship to the city. In August 1991, the operation presented Corpus Christi's proposal to Secretary of the Navy Lawrence Garrett III. Although in stiff competition with support, the ship was awarded to Corpus Christi. This is my favorite warplane. The Lexington will be proud to serve education for our students and future generations too. This cool warplane is also nicknamed as the Blue Angels and it is my second favorite warplane. This aircraft carrier will be happy to improve the quality of life of the community by establishing and maintaining a major educational and entertaining museum 
focusing on naval aviation and the role of the aircraft carrier in the national defense. To instill pride and patriotism in the public, particularly the youth, through displays, ceremonies, and educational programs that emphasize the heroism and sacrifice of those who have served the nation in the Navy and the Marine Corps, we learn a lot from this aircraft carrier. Some of these airplanes on display were used in battles. You can see hundreds of airplane models on this display. The USS Lexington is over three stories tall. The USS Lexington is an amazing national landmark. This aircraft carrier is also a premier community educational facility by developing and utilizing the ship's unique size and range of facilities in support of science, math, history, and geography curricula. The USS Lexington is a valuable national treasure, having played a significant role in the nation's defense for nearly 50 years. I will come with another good video. Until then, keep watching my other videos. Bye!